this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Anime K Swimming Bird, and uh, what are you doing down there? Welcome back to Minecraft 1.7. We are in 13W38A, the snapshot for this week, and we're upside down. Uh, I'll explain this in a minute here. I'm going to turn it off real quick. And we'll get into that. That's one of the new features. But first off, I want to get into some of these other new features. Now, this is really cool. So Dinnerbone made it so that maps actually are flush with each other now. You've probably seen this in a few mods and different stuff, but now it's in vanilla. So you can lay a bunch of maps here together on item frames. I can grab another one here on, off here and place it down. You can see that it plops on there like so and will be uh, flush with the others. That's, that's pretty cool. I was messing around with some images, making them into maps. That's like an Animal Crossing one. I've got my little logo here, a thumbnail re from recent uh, times here, but also in the corner, I combined four of these to make a bigger uh, bird logo thing. So I think that's pretty cool. You can do some awesome stuff now with map images. So that's exciting. Uh, some of the other features here, I wanted to do this real quick before I get into the crazy upside down mode. Uh, if I grab some wood, then you'll be able to see this. The block breaking is a little glitched in the snapshot, but that's going to be fixed in the B one. So I got an achievement here, getting wood, and you can see it pops up in the uh, chat there, and it tells everyone that I got that achievement. So that's a that's a new uh, thing since achievements are now on uh, each world and server; they're contained differently. Uh, you can see a upside down pig in the in the side there. I wanted to mess with you, uh, your perspective a little bit. That's a dinner bone pig. So some of the other features that I, I can get into here. Now you might have noticed in the video settings we have a ton of new stuff here. So render distance can now be extended to 16 chunks. I think that's a bit farther than far was, but you can also mess with it to go way down to two chunks if you want a Silent Hill, uh, you know, misty forest here. This actually looks really cool in the Redwood Forest Mega Taiga, but you can mess with that. Uh, you can change your frame rate to limit it to a certain amount or just go unlimited. Uh, a couple other things here. We have a mip map level now to help with uh, far off textures looking blurry and stuff. You can increase that. There's anisotropic filtering, which I believe helps with uh, textures at different angles, keeping them from being blurry and messed up. And then post processing. So, post processing, you saw me turn that off. Uh, that is actually linked to the upside down mode. And if I go in F3, you can see. Minecraft shaders at the bottom there, and it says post and flip. So this is one of the new shaders uh, that they added to the game, and this is the super secret feature setting that Dinnerbone was working on. And this is really cool because this uh, this is basically like test shaders that he said. So I think it's going to be a lot easier for us to get really cool shaders in the game. And I'll go through a few of these. Some of these are really weird. There's actually a lot of them. So let's go to the next one. This is invert. And it is inverted all the stuff. It makes it look like a negative here, basically. So that's real weird. Let's try another one. It's going to still play the sound effects as it goes, like like it did in the previous snapshots. This is NTSC, which gives us a nice like TV look. I look like I'm an, on an old like television set. It even adds like a border to the sides there. And I my frame rate dipped a little bit down while I'm using this. So you can tell some of these are more intense than others in terms of what they'll they'll use. This is outline. Uh, it gives kind of a nice little outline on all this stuff. It's, it's just kind of weird looking, but you can see the little individual pixels and stuff there. Let's do another one here. Phosphor. This is weird. This is like you move and it has a little trail. This is crit. Whoa, man. I had some bad mushrooms in the forest. <laughs> and uh, scan pincushion. This is basically NTSC it's got the little the frame around it again obviously but it, it's not quite as bad like this is maybe a little bit better uh, CRT TV <laughs> look uh, Sobel this is cool it's like really nice out like kind of glowy outlines around all the different like textures and pixels and stuff it's crazy it makes my bird look yellow that's cool uh, what else we got here so bits this is like I've I just started playing Minecraft on my Atari 2600 or something it's like really old looking <laughs> desaturate it's not quite black and white, but it gets like a nice desaturation, old-timey effect. So we're gonna have that for you guys. Green. This is really weird. <laughs> if you if you notice when you go into your menu HUD like GUI stuff, uh, it doesn't transfer over there. So I can put this on, and it's like creep of vision. So that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> we'll do the next one here. Take that off. Oops, didn't mean to exit. Let's pop back in there. There we go. If you exit it, it kind of keeps going. You have to completely close out of Minecraft to stop these right now, or just turn this off. 
uh, post-processing. Let's see what this next one is. This is real blurry. It is called Blur, appropriately enough. So that's very blurry. Another thing, right, uh, this will probably be fixed in the B snapshot, but when you exit, these maps get uh, a little messed up and you have to click them and mess with them to get them to come back. Let's see what the next one, Wobble. Whoa, man, I'm tripping out. This is another LSD type of thing. Let's go over all glory to the hypno bird. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's see what else we got here. Blobs, everything looks very blobby. Come here, little pig. I wanna see what you look like as a little blob. The closer you get to it, the less blobby it looks. But from far off, everything looks very blobby. And then we got anti-alias. Uh, this, it kind of makes things a little blurry because it's getting rid of some of the hard edges. So it doesn't look that great. And that also dipped my frame rate down a bit. Uh, there's another anti-alias one, it looks like, that's not quite as crazy. Uh, what else we got here? FXAA. I'm not exactly sure what this one's doing, but it's not too different from what we're doing already. I think that's another, like, like the mipmap stuff. Art. Now this is a very artsy <laughs> blob of paint type of filter. It gets a little clearer when you get close, but it's still very blurry from far off. We got Blobs 2, Revenge of the Blobs. Man, these are really tough to... I'm trying to play the game in some of these is crazy. This one's really cool. It's like a sketchy pencil look for everything. You could do like a weird comic book noir. Like You could do a recreation of Take On Me. Uh, color convolve. This is kind of like looks like it bumps up the colors. It looks pretty nice. It like makes them more saturated. And deconverge. Whoa. This uh, I think this is close to the 3D effect that we could do before. And then we're back to flip the dinner bone style way of playing. So yeah, that's all the little shaders. But I think the more promising thing is that we could probably get some cool shader packs like the. Uh, the hyper realistic one. I forget what the some of the Sonic Ethers uh, unbelievable shaders is the one that I'm pretty fond of. But getting some of those in vanilla without having to do some installation would be really cool. And I think this is paving the way for that. So some of the other stuff that they added now, uh, the 1.6.4 actually uh, came out today, and you might have noticed that if you've been uh, loading up Minecraft. Uh, 163 was going to come out, but then they had some more bug fixes, so they put 164, and I, I think that's deployed on all the launchers now. And uh, that basically made it so that if you have structures in your in your world, they won't get messed up when we get to 1.7. It's kind of like a pre-prep for 1.7 happening. Uh, there was some glitches where like the structures wouldn't save over, so you wouldn't have like your witches spawning or your withers spawning. It was really screwing up stuff for people's mob farms and just playing the game normally. So that's why we needed a 163 and subsequently 164. Uh, some of the other stuff, there was some weird sound effects stuff, villages not generating properly, uh, sendings with render distance, all these bug fixes. But yeah, uh, it seems like not too many fixes this week, but they are getting into performance stuff, which is stuff, these are things that people have wanted them to fix uh, for a long time. So I'm hoping 1.7 isn't winding down in development, but who knows? We might actually get a release sometime here, so we'll see. But yeah, go and uh, have a have a nice look at 164, and uh, make sure you load the chunks with your uh, with your Nether like fortresses and stuff like that before you go to 1.7. Because I think if there if you uh, play on 1.64 and you load all those areas, then you'll be fine. But if you were to upgrade to 1.7 without having visited any of those structures you could be in for some bad news when you update. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the crazy shaders and, and stuff like that and flipping upside down. I've messed with that because, yeah, if you if you go in here, I'll, I'll do it one more time. This this one little pig here, Dinnerbone, is the only one that is right side up now. Whoa, I'm getting really brain messed up here. This is messing with me. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Leave a like if you did enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you next time for more Minecraft. Goodbye.